There it is. Yes! Did you say mama? I got Did she say mama? Mama. Oh my gosh, she got a hug and a mama. An emotional moment there for Hoda Kotb when she returned home from Pyeongchang and the Winter Olympics and right into the arms of daughter Haley Joy. Oh, uh, well, Haley Joy is the inspiration for Hoda's new children's book. It's called I've Loved You Since Forever. She joins us from New York. Hoda, I want to see it again. You come in the door, you're on your knees, you're waiting. <laughs> Describe that moment. Oh my God, can I tell you, I just watched it now and I want to start weeping again. For two weeks, I missed that right there, the feeling of like her on my chest. And I have to tell you guys, like she is the eraser of all pain. Like she is, she's the answer, she's the cure, she's everything. And when I was gone for those two weeks, I kept Aww. thinking about her. And anyway, we, we're back together again, and all is right with the world. So wait, she learned to say mama when you were gone? Was that on Skype? You know, were you coaching her? <laughs> no, you know what happened? My mom kept saying, you know, say mama, mama. So my oh. mother taught her how to say mama. But here's what's weird. So then later when I was saying, you know, can you say mama? She kept pointing to the phone. So I think she actually thinks the phone is mama. <laughs> hey, we'll take it. <laughs> we'll think. take it. That's really the truth. <laughs> Hoda, we were, we were watching that. Natalie and I were staying in the bed. You know what I miss most about that age is bath time. Huh. When yeah. they get out oh. and they smell so good. Tell me your bath oh. time routine. And you tuck in their oh. pajamas real tight. Oh, so cute. I, okay, last, here, well, any night and every night. So I take her in and we, we do it really early. I put all of her little floaty toys in with her and we do a splash splash and we play and we do the whole <laughs> thing. And I ask her to point out like, which is the turtle? Which is this? When you scoop her up in that big towel oh. and carry her out, Oh, right yeah. here. Remember? Oh, I just Remember want to right here. Best. Oh, and that smell. It's the best. That baby the smell. Is the best. That smell. Oh, there's oh, nothing I better. Know. Um, I know because we, being moms, you know, when you're away for those two weeks, it's painful. I mean, how did you handle all of that? You know what? I I did. I tried to do the be here now thing. Like yeah. I wanted to be where I was, and I I think. Look, you know that so there are so many parents out there who are separated for, from their children for longer periods of time for real reasons and they feel the real ache. And I think for us, thank God for Skype. And also, you know, you also want to sort of teach your child as you go through life, like mm -hmm. this is something that mommy enjoys. I love you more than life, but also that she understands that there are things that your mom can love um, that are different from you. Right. That's a big thing that I yeah. learned late in my career was don't apologize for work. So never yes. say like, sorry, mom's got to work. don't feel guilty. Yeah. yeah. But say, this Although is great. I still do. Mom's going here. And when I left for the Olympics in Rio, my son said, I know there's military families, but I'm going to miss you for the two weeks. I'm always uh -huh. big about, hey, military families that serve our country the way for a long time. But Hoda, I thought about no. you and actually texted you when they ran the video on Valentine's Day and you got to see Joel and Haley. Was that just gut wrenching? Aww, so beautiful, girl. but so hard. I was melting because we didn't have any idea that they were up to up to something. And so they said, oh, well, happy Valentine's Day. And I sort of thought Craig and Al were going to give us some flowers, which would be awesome. And all of a sudden they start rolling this video of mm -hmm. um, Haley painting and Joel holding her. And there's nothing more awesome than watching your man holding your baby like so there's true. nothing more awesome and look at Noah photo bombing I mean <laughs> come on it's all just perfect a family photo with Noah <laughs> um, I loved you since forever I mean Haley Joy really we say is, is the inspiration but she's sort of a co-author on this isn't she <laughs> she really is you know what's funny you guys I mean I feel like I went through part of my life and I worked really hard and I got into work so much and I thought well I'm going to get to have a child in a relationship later. And then I met a guy who I thought I loved and I married him and it didn't work. And I said, well, you know what? It's going to happen later. And I got sick. I, you know, I battled cancer for a while. And then I thought to myself, oh, my God, I missed it. Like, mm -hmm. I missed my window. Life happens and it goes by. And I don't know if you've ever felt this, but it's sort of like you try to say thank you for everything I have. I don't get everything in my life. I have a beautiful family and great friends and a great job. But I have to tell you, that feeling of wanting a child was here, and I pushed it down. I just kept pushing it away, saying, you don't mm -hmm. get that, so don't entertain it. And one day, like, I just couldn't push it away anymore. 
And I just thought, you know, like, why not me? Why, yeah. why can't I try? And I have to tell you, after the adoption papers were filled out, I'll never forget it, I was sitting in my office, and I was just, they said, wait wisely. And I got a text from a woman from the adoption agency, and she said, call me. I'll never forget it. I looked at the clock. It said 11.54. I wrote it down. And I said, my life's going to change right now. Wow. I dialed that number, and I called it. And the woman on the other end said, she's here. Oh, you just gave me goosebumps. And I, I just, it was one of those things. And, I, and here's the thing. I loved her before I knew her. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you've ever had that, too. It's like you haven't felt it in your hands, yeah. but you've loved it. And I knew the idea of her. I kept thinking, like, you're sleeping under the same moon and stars as me. We're together. Like, I felt her. Yeah. And that was kind of the genesis of the book. I, you know, I loved you before I knew you. It's, it's really about destiny, I think. You've also changed a lot of women out there that thought it was not in their cards and are following Absolutely. suit. And I know one personally, so I love that.